Hello, in this video we are going to see how to create a virtual host. Basically why would we want to do that is let's say this is my document root directory and I have installed WordPress on my machine right now. So if you look at it, WordPress is installed. So when I go to uh, localhost, this shows up. Now suppose I want to install Drupal or uh, try out some other uh, server side programs and other things. What would happen is either they will mix up over here or I will have to create a subdirectory. And let us say then when I want to access WordPress, I would say localhost slash WordPress. And when I would want to, let us say I have installed Drupal and I want to access Drupal. So I will install Drupal in a directory called as Drupal, let us say. And then I will access Drupal by saying localhost slash Drupal. Now this does not look interesting and in real life also uh, we directly go to the site. Right? So when we are playing around with the Drupal, WordPress or something, it would be interesting if you could create a separate virtual host for it and give it some name like wordpress.local. So when I type in wordpress.local in my uh, browser window, it should open WordPress or it should open or show the contents of that configured directory. So let us see how it can be done. So first of all, what we will do is we will create a directory and that directory will be used for let us say WordPress. So right now I have this WordPress installed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, sudo mkdir because I am in Ubuntu or Debian. Here we are going to do it in this particular manner sudo mkdir and let us say word wordpress dot loc. I'll use loc or locl local and we are going to make inside this a directory called as public underscore html. Right? And let us say hyphen p which will make sure the parent is created. Now here I have created this directory. Fine. So you can see I have created a directory wordpress.local. Inside wordpress.local there is a public html. Okay. Okay. So here now what we are going to do is change the ownership of this directory and subdirectory to the user Dexter. Fine. Uh, we don't want to leave it with root since we will have difficulty creating and copying files. So ch own. Now if you know the user id and group id fine enough otherwise you can simply use the uh, system variable dollar user. ch on do, uh, dollar user make sure you have kept it in uppercase dollar user dollar user and wordpress dot local and we are going to just make sure that it's also applied to this one so if we look at it now you will see that the wordpress dot local is owned by dexter and if we go to wordpress dot local this directory public html is also owned by dexter okay next we want to make sure that we have the read write permissions on these directories so let's have a look at what are the permissions so it is set to uh, read write execute read execute read execute for dexter dexter in the public html as well as if we look at the wordpress dot local okay i will do a d over here so that it shows me only the directory and not its contents so here also read write execute and other things if it is not set then you may want to set it to these permissions by doing a chmod 755-r to wordpress.local so that it changes those permissions fine okay so now we want to make sure that all the new directories and other things that get created should get the permissions of the parent directory itself so this command over here which you see is going to set that we are not going to get into the details of this but we'll just make sure this is done. Okay. Now we are going to create the configuration 
in Apache for the virtual host. So let's go to slash etc slash Apache and sites available. Here you will see there are some configuration files available. So simply uh, copy this 000 default.conf to your file name which should be wordpress dot local dot conf okay so here we have our wordpress local file created okay now what we want to do is we want to edit this particular file so sudo so nano wordpress dot local configuration file okay so this file we will edit so here you just need to set the server name that means what you would type when you want to access this so we will call it as wordpress dot local server admin remains same and here we are going to set the path from where uh, it is going to pick up the files for wordpress or our website so wordpress dot local slash public underscore html make sure the spelling and path is correct so wordpress dot local and public html logs and other things will remain same so simply press ctrl o and write to your file so our configuration file is now ready okay now what we want to do is we want to enable this site so say sudo a2 en site wordpress.local.conf fine this is what we want to enable now we need to restart apache as the message is showing up fine so sudo system ctl reload apache to service and here this is reloaded now we just have to make sure that this whole configuration is working so before i move my wordpress there let's go to the site wordpress.local and its public html and here we'll just create a simple html file for this so now here i don't have to do uh, sudo because now i'm the owner of this directory so we will say uh, test.html and here I'll just simply I'm not going to write the whole HTML I'm just going to simply put h1 and say hello world fine I'm just being a bit lazy over here and that's it okay now before we can actually access and uh, test our site the wordpress.local how will it get resolved to our machine in this itself right okay so to get this wordpress.local resolved to our machine we need to add an entry to a file called as etc hosts fine so when you type in wordpress.local our query will be or our domain name will be resolved to this particular machine itself so let's update this file hosts so as you can see the entries over here I have to create a similar entry just like the line one make sure the ip address is correct and this name is correct word press dot local right and save this file and exit now open a browser and type in wordpress dot local and this will now show me the contents of here and this test html is working so this way you can create entries for different multiple uh, packages or applications that you want to test on your server directly and also while working it will give you a feel as if you are working on a real website and not into a subfolder or something like that